Jordan Carter from Internet New Zealand. Um, thanks, Nat, and um, thanks all for being here today. I think this is an interesting event so far, and I hope it carries on like that. Um, I don't have any quotes to read you, I'm afraid, and unfortunately I'm not a numbers man either, so um, I'm not going to be able to give you perfect numbers. But I want to make uh, a simple point about why we have a copyright law. Now, I know that ACTA is about more than copyright, but the story I want to tell briefly uh, is easiest to understand with copyright. And the reason that we've got copyright is to maximize the production of copyright works. We want to have, I think the US uh, law uses arts and um, inventions. You know, we want to maximize the production of creative works in the public interest. That is why we have this law. And we provide certain limited exclusive rights to the people who create this content to encourage them to create it. And we provide uh, rights to the public to use this content in a range of ways that aren't always controlled by the creator, because that's the point. The reason we want the work is to maximize, if you like, the knowledge commons that are available to all of us to seed future innovation, uh, to have a richer cultural life, and to, I guess, become more fully human. Um, and so copyright is a balancing act. It's a balance between this sort of unpleasant necessity in a commercial world of providing economic incentives to create and the rights of the public to make use and to build that commons for all of us. Now, that balance is struck through the copyright laws. Uh, and there's this little thing that came along called the internet. And it somewhat changed the way that people can distribute creative works. It allows perfect digital replicas to be created. It allows them to be cheaply transmitted around the world. So in effect, it has loosened the control that authors have over their copyright works. It has made it easier for them to be distributed. The global commons, if you like, has increased. Um, that's a good thing from the public interest, um, because we all have access to more material at less cost. Now, the question that we need to work out is whether that easing has led to a supply problem. Because remember, this is about the supply of creative works. Is there a problem that means that we need to change the balance away from what the internet has delivered, a more open and sharing framework, to something else? Is there a need to toughen enforcement? And the only way I think that you could justify toughening enforcement would be to show a supply problem. Because if the supply of creative works continue to grow, if the industries that create these works continue to develop, to create more work, to employ more people, and simultaneously the public could get access to this material more easily, then everyone wins. The industries are growing. The public has access to more content. No one is worse off. So ACTA is about toughening enforcement. The only way you can justify it is a supply problem. Now, could anyone in the room put their hands up if they are aware of a supply problem with new creative works? Do we have a plunging number of new artists releasing uh, CDs or albums? Do we have a problem with the production and distribution of films? Um, well, all the evidence I've seen points in exactly the opposite direction. New film releases up from 2,000 to 4,000 a year. New album releases up uh, by a large quantity in the 2000s, when this problem of infringing copyright began. So if you want to change the balance in copyright law, you have to provide some evidence of the problem that you're trying to fix. In nothing that the New Zealand government has published, in nothing that any of the representatives of movie or music publishing in New Zealand have published, in no study that I've been able to find, is there compelling evidence that the economic position of these content creating industries is in trouble? Quite the opposite. They're growing and they're developing. So if there isn't a problem, don't try and fix it. Understand that copyright is a balance in the public interest, not in the economic interests of the people who currently make a lot of money out of some distribution methods. And that if we're all getting access to more material and more material is being created, 
That is a good thing, not a bad one. Thank you. Thank you.